Yes, today we are going to study the last chapter of standard 6 syllabus that is the universe. In this topic, we are going to study about the universe, whatever things are happening in the sky. Okay, for example, observation of the sky. So, what do we see in the sky? We see different uh, stars, we can see moon, we can see different um, things in the sky. But... Uh, rather than this we are also able uh, we are also going to talk about the solar system we are going to talk about the milky way we are going to talk about the different types of galaxy we are going to talk about the different types of stars and also we are going to talk about the comets and metros so let's not without wasting time we will start about the explanation of the universe so all these things what we are observing in the sky we require one instrument which is known as telescope so telescope is one of the instrument which helps us to uh, observe the things what are happening in the sky very clearly okay so let us move now let us talk about the milky wave now what is milky wave our galaxy in which we are living that is known as milky Okay, so the galaxy in which we are living, that galaxy's name is Milky Way and also it is known as Mandagini. So, it is having two different names. It is also known as Milky Way and it is also known as Mandagini. Okay, now here you can see that in the sky, you can see there are thousand, hundred billions of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. You can observe the galaxy in this galaxy. The galaxy is full of stars. Okay, so how much stars are there? are present more than 100 billions of stars you can observe in the milky wave galaxy okay now what is a galaxy the most important question what is a galaxy now the galaxy is a group of innumerable stars and their planetary system which together form an galaxy what is the galaxy basically made of the galaxy is basically made up of innumerable of stars and planetary system and all this together form a galaxy so galaxy is made up of uh, planets and innumerable stars now the galaxy in which we are living the name of the galaxy is milky wave and in this milky wave galaxy we are having a solar system a solar system is located in the milky wave galaxy okay in the milky wave galaxy which um, uh, planets are present uh, solar system is present and in solar system there are different uh, planets sun asteroids comets and metros the solar system consists of all these things the galaxy milky wave is also known as mandagini now there are many different galaxies rather than milky wave rather than milky wave you can see there are many different galaxies in this slide also you can see that the galaxy is consisting of star gases dust and they together form a group by the gravity now as there is gravitational force on the earth similarly the gravitation force is in the galaxy also and in galaxy what is present star gas is present even dust is present and there are billions of stars in one galaxy so i told you how much uh, stars can be there in one galaxy 10 hundred billions of star can be there in one galaxy so this is about the galaxy now let us talk about the different things present in the milky waves now in the milky waves uh, it includes the celestial bodies such as now what are celestial bodies now the celestial bodies may be a cluster of stars now what is the meaning of cluster cluster means group of stars there may be nebulae there may be clouds of gases as i told you there are clouds of gases present in the galaxy then dust is also present dead stars the star which are not alive they are known as dead stars the newly born stars so there is uh, when the star uh, comes to an end that time a new stars are born in the galaxy so these galaxies uh, these things which are situated in the galaxies these are known as celestial bodies so the milky wave includes the celestial bodies such as cluster of stars nebulae clouds of gas clouds of dust 
dead stars newly born stars now the most important thing that you are supposed to understand now if anyone ask you what is the closest galaxy to our galaxy now which is our galaxy milky way is the name of our galaxy so which galaxy is nearer to milky way galaxy so immediately you can answer that andromeda the word is difficult to pronounce you can break it and pronounce it andromeda so andromeda is the galaxy which is closest to the milky way okay so this is about the milky way galaxy now rather than milky way galaxy there are four different types of galaxy that are uh, uh, that are classified on the basis of the shape so here you can see some of the galaxies are elliptical in shape some are spiral in shape some are barred spiral and some are irregular now irregular means the galaxy which is not having any definite shape those galaxies are known as irregular shapes so according to these shapes we can understand the four different types of galaxy so which are the four different types of galaxy here in this picture you can see very clearly spiral elliptical barred spiral and irregular galaxy these are the four different types of galaxies that are situated in the sky <clears throat> now let us talk about the stars now everyone love to see the sky because in sky during night time we can see many stars they are twinkling so most of the students like to see uh, the sky like to observe the sky why because the stars are present and some stars are bright in color while some are faint in color and in the beautiful night you can see blue whitish yellowish reddish uh, color of sky during the sunset and sun, um, rise timing okay so these variations we can observe in the sky and we can enjoy these all movements by observing the sky watching okay now depending on this there are four different types of stars okay now as i told you that some stars are brighter in color some are faint in color so some twinkle little faint but some shines like a bright and uh, they produce lot of light and you can identify the star which is brighter in the sky so depending on this the star is classified into five different types that is sun like star red giant star supernova binary or twin star and variable star so these are the five different types of stars that are uh, <clears throat> produced in the sky so let us talk about the uh, one by one let us know about the stars now let us come to the first type of star that is sun like star now as the name says that it is sun like so it is bright like a sun it is its size is also bigger okay now which type of uh, stars are sun like stars so cirrus alpha centauri these are the two types of stars which are sun like stars which are known as sun like stars because they are bigger in size and they are producing lot of brightness or temperature among themselves like a sun so that is why the name is sun like star now let us move towards the next type of star that is red giant star now what is this red giant star now the temperature of the star ranges from 3000 to 4000 celsius so you can understand the understand the uh, temperature in this star having the temperature in this star now as the star is given the name red giant so giant means bigger in size and red means the color of the star color is red and it has its own light okay luminous we have studied this luminous word in chapter number 14 reflection and shadow formation in that lesson we have studied this okay then moving to the third type of star that is supernova now this supernova is more brighter than the right uh, red giant star it is more brighter and the temperature is also more than the red giant star and it is 
हंड्रेड टाइम्स ग्रेटर देन दैट ऑफ द सन सो यू कैन इमेजिन सन से भी सुपरनोवा ज्यादा टेम्परेचर होता है उसको ओके द टेम्परेचर इज हंड्रेड टाइम्स मोर देन द सन इन द सुपरनोवा सो सुपरनोवा इज मोर ग्रेटर देन द सन नाउ नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ स्टार दैट इज बाइनरी और ट्विन स्टार नाउ बाइनरी द वर्ड बाइनरी बाइनरी बाय मीन्स टू ट्विन स्टार ट्विन स्टार सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड ट्विन सो जब भी कोई भी फैमिली में ट्विन्स होता है तो दे लुक वेरी सिमिलर टू ईच अदर ओके सो दैट टाइम बाइनरी और ट्विन्स इज रिलेटेड टू टू ओके नाउ वेन द मोर देन हाफ ऑफ द स्टार इन द स्काय दीज आर बाइनरी दे आर फॉर्मिंग दे आर फॉर्म बाय द टू स्टार्स ओके द टू स्टार्स दैट आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड ईच अदर दो स्टार्स आर नोन एज बाइनरी और ट्विन स्टार्स अभी ये दो स्टार जो होते हैं एक दूसरे के आजू बाजू में रिवॉल्व होते हैं दैट स्टार्स आर कॉल्ड एज बाइनरी स्टार्स ओके एंड दीज आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड ईच अदर थ्री टू फोर स्टार्स ऑल्सो कैन बी सीन इन दिस ग्रुप ओके बाइनरी या टू इन स्टार में यू कैन सी टू स्टार ऑल्सो रिवॉल्विंग ईच अदर इवन फोर स्टार ऑल्सो रिवॉल्विंग ईच अदर सो इट कैन मे इट मे बी हैपन दैट टू और मोर देन टू स्टार ऑल्सो कैन रिवॉल्व ईच अदर एंड दे कैन शो द फंक्शन ऑफ द बाइनरी और टू इन स्टार्स नाउ द रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टार्स विच वी आर सींग इन द स्काय दो आर वेरिएबल स्टार्स now what are variable stars these are luminous and they are having the shape of the star but they are not stable now you must have seen that the stars they are not stable at one place stable means they are not fixed at one place they are moving from one place to another they are constant they are not exactly moving but the movement which is seen in the stars that is contraction and expansion ओके okay, जब वो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट होता है तो दे इट द स्टार्स अपीयर टू बी बिगर व्हेन इट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट टाइम द स्टार अपीयर्स टू बी स्मॉलर व्हेन इट एक्सपांड्स इट अपीयर्स टू बी बिगर सो दिस थिंग्स व्हाट हैपन इन द वेरिएबल स्टार्स ओके दिस थिंग हैपेंस इन द वेरिएबल स्टार्स व्हेन द स्टार्स एक्सपांड दैट टाइम द एनर्जी विच इज एमिटेड दैट इज लेस बट वेन इट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट टाइम द एनर्जी इज ग्रेटर एंड इट अपियर्स ब्राइटर इन द स्काय सो दिस इज अबाउट द स्टार 